The purpose of this video today is Prime Inc.'s lease program. I've got a lot of questions about it. I've got people who have asked me face to face and I've got people who are commenting in the comment section below and they are inquiring about the Prime Inc. program. It is Tanya Gibson Smith. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, go ahead and consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell. Go ahead and share this video, like this video, and comment down below. My two cents, right? And this is really just my personal opinion, okay? I put more in the fuel tank than I was able to put in my pocket. Um, after the fees and after the truck payment and after... Um, this little bit, that little bit being deducted. By the time I actually was able to bring anything in, it was not anything like what it looked like. I did the video. Um, it was a ride along. And in that ride along, there was settlements, right? I showed you guys and I'll, I'll stick that thumbnail right here so that you could go back and you can watch that. But in that, in those settlements, right, the settlement might say $5,000, but I'm bringing in maybe $900. <laughs> and I think that is what a lot of people are doing on YouTube. They are posting their, and y'all, Prime, y'all, please don't come for me. But a lot of people are posting their settlements and it is only the gross amount that is being posted. Now, when you think gross, you think before the net, because that's what it is. The gross is what your truck uh, made, but the net is what your truck is actually bringing home. And there is a difference. So, um, yeah. I ended up finding out really quickly that Prime just was not for me, especially in the time and in the season that I was there. I think I made a video and told you guys that I just was there at the wrong time. I should have uh, took my time and went when I know I was supposed to go, which was after my year was up at CFI. Also, when you are accepting loads, right? your fleet manager is not gonna tell you if the load is good or if the load is bad, right? So this is something coming in from other companies that I believe you should watch for. If you are going to Prime Inc. and you want to uh, join the lease program, I believe that it is a program for people who are coming out of Prime's training because once you've been on the truck with another Prime Inc. driver, they're able to lead you and guide you and tell you right from wrong. When you are coming from other companies, you are out there by yourself. Your fleet manager is not gonna tell you anything. You really have to know how to maneuver the loads when they come through. I was watching a video one time, I don't really remember who it was, but somebody was saying that if you decline too many loads, then that was means for termination. Um, I think Rob Lowe may have gotten rid of a lot of drivers right before I got there. And I think the reason why he did it was because people was declining loads. So I went in with the mindset of not declining loads because I wanted to keep my job. And I took every load that came through, right? I saw a lady at the fuel station one day at the Loves, and I told her that I was on my way out. And so she asked me why. And I just gave her a quick rundown about how I'm just not making the money that I thought I would make. I pretty much came here on a wing and a prayer. And I think that my timing was off and, and yada, 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 right? So she was like, let me give you my number 
and you can call me when you get your next load. I'll tell you whether to accept it or not. I'll tell you whether it's going to be good or not. And I'll let you know whether you should um, take it and how much money you're going to be making and so forth and so on. And I did just to see what that would have been like, right? And she told me not to take the load. I had already accepted the load because the load was taking me back to Springfield. <laughs> it was taking me back to Springfield so I could turn my truck in. I didn't tell her that though. I just needed to know what her opinion was and what she thought. She told me exactly what she thought. She said that I should not take the load and it was because um, the miles and the money just didn't make sense. I really didn't know how to maneuver that just yet. Um, you know, it was my first lease and I probably should have went in as a company driver first. I think if I had done that, I would have uh, had time to learn the company and understand what it was all about. Um, so my advice to you going into Prime Inc, if you are going in with no license and you want to train there and you want to lease your truck after you train, do that. It seems to me that everybody who does it that way win, okay? Because they are getting the inside. Now, if you are like me coming in with your CDL and you seeing all the videos and you drink the juice, okay? And you wanna go and you wanna get your truck and you wanna sign the paperwork and you wanna ride off into the sunset. Believe me, you're gonna have to have some leasing experience you're gonna to have to have somebody from Prime maybe on the inside to talk to you. Somebody that can kind of share the insights with you about the do's and the don'ts, what loads to take, what loads maybe not to take. Your fleet manager is not gonna do it and nobody else is gonna do it. You're gonna to have to know. And that was just a mistake that I made. I did not know. So outside of the fuel, the prices, the money going straight into the fuel tank, um, all of the fees that was calculated into that, you know, um, you have really got to have a good relationship with your DM or your fleet manager. I didn't. So that was another problem. Make sure that you do. Um, yeah. So that's, that's, that's my truth about Prime Inc. And that's it. That's all. God bless y'all and see you in the next video.